In this video, we will see how to add touch controls to our ball game. This will be a very quick overview of touch controls in Unreal Engine. So I think it will be a nice video to watch. So let's get started. So I have opened the ball game that we created, the ball game project in Unreal Engine 5 that we created. And we will add touch functionality to it. So let's create a new so under miscellaneous here we can find this touch interface setup so we will create a new touch interface setup from here let's name it something like ball game touch interface double click to open it and uh, first let's set this up i want the inactive opacity to be 0 0.2 so this is the opacity of our controls when they are inactive and time until reset i want this to be 0 0.5 so this is how long after going inactive fill controls reset themselves or recenter themselves i like 0 0.5 for that if we turn this off if we have this off actually but i will turn prevent recenter to on because i do not want my controls to recenter to the position where the user tapped now we can add some controls so first let's add a joystick control in the images so this will be the image for the thumb the center and this will be the background image so for virtual joystick Unreal Engine comes with some default assets here default images let's look for them so this will be virtual joystick thumb and this will be virtual joystick background and this is the position where our controls will be on the screen for you the numbers might be different but for me the numbers are like 135 and for y negative 135 visual size this is the size of our images so for these images this will be 192 and 192 thumb size this is the size of the center that uh, the user touches and let's make it 96 and 96 for the joysticks interaction size so this is the area where if our player touches they can interact with our control let's make it something like 256 and 192 input scale we will keep it at uh, actually let's change these so this might be very slow for us because we're using the mouse so i will just increase it by 10 times so let's enter 10 and 10 and then we can go to our controller blueprint and uh, see how we are controlling the rotation of our camera and we can see that we are using the mouse inputs here mouse x and mouse y for adding the your and which inputs so here as well we can specify these inputs so main input key this will be horizontal axis let's say mouse x alternate input this will be the vertical axis so let's just say mouse y so it will be as if we are just using the mouse if we use this uh, virtual joystick here and because we are using these uh, mouse inputs for adding the camera rotation we will be able to rotate our camera in the game i want to add actually a few more inputs so let's add the input for jumping so this will be a button and for a button i will not use image one i will use only image two so if we're using only one image we should use image two here and we will use the default button 2 that is comes with Unreal Engine button 2 on I will use this and for the center let's say something like 500 and 400 size let's say 128 and 32 thumb size this will be 1 and 1 for a button interaction size uh, let's just make it same as uh, the visual size 128 and uh, 32 input scale we will keep it at 1 and the keys here 
for jumping both of these will be space so we will click this little keyboard and press the space bar again we will click this keyboard and press the space bar so that is our jump settings let's also make settings for going forward so i will duplicate this and here i will first change this image so i have this arrow up image and uh, so we will click on this content row and then drag our image so we have imported the image as a texture here now we can use this so let's look for arrow up and the center let's change it to something like 500 uh, or let's say 550 and uh, 550 visual size here let's say 64 and 64 interaction size also 64 and 64 and thumb size will keep it at one and the keys so this will be the key for going forward and uh, we are using the w key for going forward so i will say i will just select this little keyboard and uh, click w here here as well i will select this little keyboard and click w let's also add uh, the input for dash actually let's try to keep this a bit uh, more on the right side so instead of 550 let's say something like 850 and uh, for the dash we will duplicate this and for the image let's just use uh, one of the default images that comes with unreal engine so i will use this one so if you just look for button here button fire we can select this and uh, the keys for dash that we're using is uh, f so i will select this little keyboard and click f so that is our touch input settings touch interface settings now let's go to the project settings and look for mobile and we will select the touch interface that we just created so this will be bowl game touch interface now if we play this so from here if we select mobile preview it will take some time so let's select mobile preview save selected actually these buttons are low overlapping so we will fix it so we can jump and we can also move the camera so let's fix this one here the button for going forward instead of 550 here let's say this should be 350 again these numbers might be different for you so you might have to try with different numbers let's see if it works so this goes forward this moves the camera and this one jumps this one dashes also one point to note is uh, if you're using widgets sometimes widgets and this touch controls might not work uh, well for you if you are using them together so you might have to look for some different solution or you might have to change some settings in your widget change their visibility visibility if you need to for me i think the default setup is working well and uh, if we go to the widget we can see what is the visibility that we have so the main widget here is uh, its visibility is uh, not detestable self only and uh, it seems to be working for me if it does not work for you you might have want to test uh, these different options if you want to or you might uh, have to look for different solutions so yeah that is how we can add uh, touch input to our projects you can also add buttons for uh, the different WASD keys for now i will just add uh, the forward button that's just what i like if you want you can add the buttons for uh, uh, left right and backwards as well by adding the inputs uh, for a s and d keys as well like we did for the w key also one more point to note is sometimes uh, like uh, when we are like when we are clicking here and then dragging so sometimes when you click these buttons it may not work you may have to drag it a bit so that is also something to look into 
if that happens with you but for me it is working pretty well so for you if the buttons are not working just uh, click them and uh, drag a bit like we are clicking and dragging this joystick here <laughs> 